art sculptor. My art lives. It moves. Implants. They sort And if you were looking for a glimmer of consensus between uh, Moscow and NATO, you will probably start uh, with those kind of countries. Mark Devonport speaking earlier from the United Nations. You're watching BBC News, a reminder of the headlines this hour. The Yugoslav Deputy Prime Minister Vuk Draskovic has been dismissed. Now that parliament must work for us. Shackles are on the Labour Party and the Scots Parliament from London. Uh, Henry McLeish went on television and he had to admit they could not diverge one iota from London-made policy. The great difference with the SNP is that we have a constituency at home, we work only to them. They are the Scots people, it's their Parliament, and in the Parliament the traditional Scots values of social justice, of building an enterprise economy, a just society, will be reflected. Our parliament must be a different parliament. A parliament that gets rid of the old ways and the old control from London. A parliament free of sleaze and incompetence. A parliament that is open and accessible. 81% of people thought that uh, public services should be funded through public means. A parliament that Scotland can be proud of and which listens to the people it serves. The SNP for me, and I've been a member for 25 years, is most of all about honesty. It's most of all about courage. It's most of all about hope and optimism. I think the biggest obligation of political parties is to tell the truth. Labour used to believe in the same things that Scotland believes in. Free education, progressive taxation rather than Tory tax bribes, supporting health and education, and keeping these services in public hands. But they've left all of that behind. We never will. We need a government that listens to us and does what we want. A government that honours its promises and delivers on its pledges. I'm immensely excited about the Scottish Parliament because I think it gives us all a chance to play our part in building a new Scotland. I want to see real money put into education, health and housing services. I don't want Gordon Brown coming along with a tax cut one year and taking it away the next. The longest serving member of the European Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, Winnie Ewing. You Labour's message is one of fear. They say that Scotland can't survive without London, can't support herself, and needs the UK to act as her European broker. Now our message is be brave. Know your own strength. We can make Scotland a land we all want to live in. This is our golden opportunity. Do not throw it away. With the hopes of generations pulled around us And the strength will be We do not stand If I was asked, who do you think will win this election? My answer would be, hopefully, Scotland. One of the best rules in politics to follow is if you're prepared to trust the people of Scotland, then the people will trust you. We're setting up the first democratic parliament in the entire nation's history. I think we should have it first principle. It should be run from Scotland. And that's why I think Scotland's party should win Scotland's election. On Thursday, you'll be voting for your future. The only thing left to do is to vote and vote again. And I'll be right with you. Thank you very much. I know we stand upon the stepping stone. That was a party election broadcast by the Scottish National Party.
evening. Well, it hasn't ba been too bad a bank holiday weekend, has it? Today we saw temperatures up to 25 in Devon and Salton Sands. That's 77 Fahrenheit. But the east coast was nearer 15 to 17. It felt much cooler here. And with the high pressure staying out towards the east of Britain, the winds will be coming in off the North Sea throughout the next few days. So it will always be feeling coolest in the east and a little way inland. Towards the weekend, the winds might then just change direction. But for the time being, it's as we are now. Now, at the moment, we've got one or two thunderstorms in the province of Northern Ireland. So too down through the Channel Islands, but they should die away. Just a little bit of rain staying in the north of Scotland tonight. Elsewhere dry, with perhaps one or two mist patches forming. Temperatures tonight around 5 to 7, so a fairly mild night. For Monday, uh, for the morning rather, Tuesday morning, rather cloudy on this east coast, away from that, a fairly sunny start to the day. Cloudy in Scotland as well, with a little bit of rain, and perhaps one or two showers will develop here during the afternoon. They could be heavy and perhaps thundery. So too for Northern Ireland and down across the Channel Islands, up into the West Country. And we might just see one or two of them coming inland towards the evening. The temperatures on that east coast then, only around 13 to 14, but inland towards the west, temperatures could be back up to around 20 to 21. That's it from me. Bye-bye. Set sail and discover the magic of Scotland's natural heritage. Fake, fake bottles. In a brand new series, the schooner Carrie explores the Western Isles. Every week she's joined by a fresh crew drawn from all walks of life. Each member with a personal reason for discovering the wildlife and human history of Scotland. It is magical. Earth, wind and water. The voyage begins Thursday at 8, BBC Two Scotland. This is BBC One Scotland, now Campaign 99 with Ian McWhorter.